You've probably been using Gemini like it's just another ChatGPT clone. Typing basic questions, getting decent answers, and wondering why everyone keeps hyping it up. Here's the thing. I spent weeks testing every single feature Google packed into Gemini 3, and I discovered most people are using maybe 10% of what this thing can actually do. The million token context window, the canvas workspace, deep think mode. If you're not using these, you're basically driving a Ferrari in first gear. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts with our free weekly newsletter. Click the link in the description below to subscribe. You will get the key AI news, tools, and learning resources to stay ahead. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to unlock Gemini 3's full potential from the multimodal features that let you analyze images, audio, and code in one conversation to the hidden tricks that'll make you look like an AI power user. By the end of these 15 minutes, you'll know how to build apps without coding, create presentations in seconds, and get research-grade results that would normally take hours. Let's start with what actually makes Gemini 3 different from everything else out there. What makes Gemini 3 actually different? Here's where things get interesting. Gemini 3 isn't just an upgrade, it's a completely different animal than the old bard you might remember. Google built this from the ground up as a truly multimodal system, meaning it was trained on text, images, video, and audio all together from day one. That's not just a feature, it's a fundamental shift in how the AI thinks. What does this actually mean for you? You can now throw a diagram at Gemini and ask it to explain the concept. You can upload a YouTube video transcript and get a summary. You can even feed it an audio recording of a lecture and have it pull out the key points. The old bard. It could barely handle a conversation about an image. But here's the real game changer that most people completely overlook. The context window. Gemini 3 can handle up to 1 million tokens in a single conversation. To put that in perspective, that's roughly 1,500 pages of text. You could feed it an entire novel, a massive code base, or hours worth of meeting transcripts, and it remembers all of it while you're chatting. Previous AI tools maxed out at a few pages. This unlocks possibilities that simply weren't possible before, like comprehensive research reports or analyzing lengthy documents without losing context. And Google didn't just make it smarter, they made it more honest. They specifically trained Gemini 3 to resist what they call sycophancy, which is that annoying thing where AI just tells you what you want to hear. This version will actually push back and correct your assumptions when you're wrong. That might sound small, but trust me, when you're using AI for serious work, you want the truth, not flattery. Getting started. The right way. Accessing Gemini 3 is straightforward, but there are some things worth knowing up front that'll save you time. Head to gemini.google.com and sign in with your Google account. If you used Bard before, you'll notice it's now unified under the Gemini brand. Same interface, massively upgraded brain. Now pay attention to the toolbar near the prompt box. This is where most people miss out. You'll see options for canvas, gems, file uploads, and sometimes a model toggle. By default, you're using Gemini 3 Pro, which is the main model. But depending on your subscription, you might have access to flash mode for quick answers or deep think mode for complex reasoning, and we'll get into exactly when to use those in a bit. Here's what most people don't realize. The base Gemini app is completely free, and Gemini 3 Pro is now available to everyone. Yes, Google offers premium plans that unlock higher limits and advanced modes, but everything I'm about to show you works on the free tier. So no excuses. You can start experimenting right now. On mobile, especially Android, there's a killer feature. Gemini can replace Google Assistant entirely. Long press your power button or say, Hey Google, and you're talking to Gemini. This means your phone's assistant just got a massive intelligence upgrade, summarizing web pages, handling complex follow-up questions, the works. Multimodal magic, this changes everything. All right, this is where Gemini 3 really starts to flex. Let's talk about what multimodal actually means in practice because the possibilities here are wild. Start with images. You can upload a photo and ask literally anything about it. 
What plant is this? Can you analyze this chart? What's wrong with this circuit diagram? Gemini sees it, understands it, and explains it. But wait until you see this. It can even translate handwritten notes from a photo. Imagine snapping a picture of your grandmother's handwritten recipe in Italian and having Gemini transcribe it, translate it, and format it into a proper recipe card. That actually works. And it's not just input. Gemini generates images, too. Say, create an image of a cyberpunk coffee shop at midnight, and it produces a custom graphic using Google's image and model under the hood. The quality is genuinely impressive. Now here's a feature that flew under the radar for most people. Audio handling. You can feed Gemini a recording, a lecture, a meeting, a podcast episode, and ask for a summary or transcription. On the advanced setting, it can process up to 9.5 hours of audio in one go. That's an entire workday's worth of meetings summarized in minutes. But this next part will surprise you. There's also audio overview, which works in reverse. Give Gemini a text document and it can turn it into a spoken podcast style summary. So you're not just reading and writing anymore. You're listening and speaking. It's genuinely multimodal. And then there's Gemini Live, the voice mode. You can have natural back and forth conversations entirely by voice, like talking to an extremely intelligent friend who happens to know everything. In Android Auto, this becomes even more practical. Managing emails, creating playlists, finding restaurants, all while keeping your hands on the wheel. Coding superpowers, vibe coding, and beyond. If you write code or want to learn, Gemini 3 is about to become your best friend. Seriously. On some coding benchmarks, it actually beats GPT-4. It can write code, explain code, debug code, and even convert code between languages. But here's where it gets really interesting. Google introduced something they call vibe coding. This means you can describe what you want in plain English. And Gemini builds fully functional software from that description. Tell it build me a to-do list web app with a space theme. And it won't just write the code. It'll create the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript with a complete design, maybe even a planetary background. In one prompt. The numbers back this up. Gemini 3 scored 76.2% on a standard coding agent benchmark, way above previous models. It can even use tools and call APIs autonomously. We're talking about AI that can actually do things, not just suggest them. For hands-on work, Google provides Gemini Canvas, which we'll dive into next, but there's also a command line interface they released, an open source Gemini CLI so you can chat with it right from your terminal. And if you use VS Code, JetBrains, or Replit, Gemini 3 Pro is being integrated as an AI coding assistant. Some of the tools you're already using might be powered by Gemini without you even knowing. What really impressed me though is how Gemini handles the code run fix loop. In Canvas, when you ask it to generate HTML, it doesn't just give you code, it renders a live preview right there. No copying to another editor. You can immediately see if something's off, ask for changes, and watch it update in real time. That iterative workflow is genuinely game-changing for prototyping. Gemini Canvas, your creative command center. Canvas deserves its own section because it fundamentally changes how you work with AI. Think of it as an interactive workspace where you and Gemini collaborate in real time instead of just trading chat messages back and forth. Here's what you can do. For writing, you can draft entire documents, essays, blog posts, reports, and edit them collaboratively. You type, Gemini types, you adjust, it refines. It's like having a co-author who never gets tired. For coding, Canvas is incredible. You ask Gemini to write code, it appears in the workspace, you can tweak it or ask for modifications, and there's a split view that shows your code on one side and a live preview on the other. Building a simple game? One panel shows the JavaScript, the other shows the game running. But here's the feature most people don't know about, the Create menu. Once Gemini generates content in Canvas, say an outline or some statistics, you can click Create and transform it into something else entirely. Options include infographic, web page, quiz, 
audio overview, or slides. This is where it gets wild. I tested this myself. You can give Gemini an outline about any topic, click infographic, and it generates a polished visual complete with charts, icons, and proper design hierarchy. One click. Or select web page, and it renders a functional website. Select slides, and you've got a presentation ready to go. Canvas is available to everyone on the free tier, and accessing it is simple. Just look for the Canvas option in the Gemini prompt bar, or tap the plus on mobile. Once you start using this, regular chat feels limiting. Deep Research, your AI research assistant. Here's something that saved me hours. Deep Research Mode. This feature turns Gemini into an automated research assistant that doesn't just answer questions, it produces full reports. Give it a complex topic like the impact of AI regulation on European startups in 2025. When deep research is enabled, Gemini breaks your query into sub-questions, searches for relevant information, reads through sources, and compiles a multi-page report with sections, analysis, and sometimes even references you can verify. What used to take an afternoon of Google searches and reading now takes minutes. It's particularly powerful for students, researchers, or anyone who needs to get up to speed on a new topic fast. The report isn't a surface-level summary, it's structured content with real depth. You can also upload your own files for deep research to analyze. Feed it a stack of PDFs, and it'll integrate them into the report as source material. Combined with that million token context window, you can throw a massive amount of information at this thing and it handles it. One tip, deep research takes a bit longer than standard queries because it's doing real work in the background. But for complex questions where accuracy matters, that extra time is worth it. Gems, custom AI personas. Last feature, and it's one enthusiasts will love, gems. These are essentially custom AI profiles you create on top of Gemini. Maybe you want a coding mentor that always explains solutions step by step, or a copywriter persona with a specific tone, or a language tutor that only responds in Spanish. With Gems, you create that persona once, save it, and Gemini remembers those instructions every time you use that gem. Google provides some pre-made options, hiring consultant, copywriter, sales pitch assistant, but the real power is creating your own. Give it a name, write your instructions, even upload reference files if you want the gem to have specific knowledge. A project Q&A gem with all your documentation attached means anyone on your team can ask questions and get accurate answers. Gems are now free for everyone, so there's no barrier to experimenting. That's Gemini 3, not just a chatbot, but a genuinely powerful creative and productivity tool. The key is actually using all these features instead of treating it like a basic Q&A machine. Start with something that matters to you. Use Canvas for a project. Try deep research for your next learning topic. Build a gem that fits your workflow. The more you experiment, the more you'll discover. Drop a comment telling me which feature you're most excited to try. I read every single one. And if this helped you, hit subscribe so you don't miss the next deep dive. Now go experiment with Gemini 3 and see what you can build.